Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three, testing. I think we are ready to come back online for another hour or so of uh, Dead Space 2 action. What's up? Welcome back to Venkabop. My name is David Yo. It's Dead Space 2. Uh, I'm kind of salty, guys. Kind of salty. Let's see. Uh, let's go back to single player here. Load game. So we found a game-breaking bug. Thankfully, I made multiple saves just in case. As it turns out, though, that in this one instance in the game, if you kill enemies in this room and then leave and then save your game again, then uh, they don't stay dead, right? Mostly it's about the, yeah, Jimbo, he's a true hero. Good old Jimbo. Yeah, most parts of the game, though, if you were to kill some enemies and then save your game, they stay dead. But in this area, if you kill some and save your game, they respawn. But because you saved, it remembers your ammo from when you already killed the enemies. So, that's weird. I mean, that, that means you could farm here indefinitely, though, right? What if you could be really, uh effective with your ammo like let's say you used all their claws you stomped a lot of enemies right you could probably farm for gear here i mean farm for uh, drops because the enemies respawn after you save and it saves your inventory but does not save the enemies being dead apples here's my feelings let's go back here that's the one spot in the game where anybody would run away apples come on that's a lot that's a really hard fight i don't want to you know be a slave to a whack checkpoint I wanted to clear that first bit and then save, and then clear the next bit and then save. Because I didn't trust the checkpoints, and I was right to not trust them, because there was apparently there's no checkpoints in this area. But apparently also it saves your I said it saves your ammo when you save, which is really whack. Alright, so I'm back to having my stuff back. Okay, so these babies. How do I there's some trick to um, I, I can't grab you, right? I can't just grab the babies when they're alive. I didn't uh, run on survivalist. If I can do it, you can too. I don't think so. I disagree. So we established that if I use my force gun on the babies, they, like, get killed, but they don't blow up. But there's another way to do it. I've done it before another way. I think I have to chop off a limb or something? They're pretty small limbs, though. What is my plan here? I don't have any ammo for this gun. Pretty short on ammo for all my guns. I'm not good at using the limbs to destroy their friends. I definitely want to set up a lot of mines. I want to set up a lot of mines. I feel like mines will be very clutch here. It'll be very, very important. Like all over the place. Like lots of mines. But I don't want the baby to trigger them though. Three hours, three more hours of streaming. No apples. I feel kind of refreshed. I had a nice little break there. Can I chop off your leg from here? It's for science. Yes. Took a leg off. That baby's now mine. Take his arm off. Are we still good? Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's just checkpoint restart. It's kind of hard to that idiot died. We do tomorrow, brain. Same thing to do every night, Pinky. In all seriousness, though, we're going to be doing some uh, programming in the uh, afternoon, and then some 20XX for about four hours. Me and Temple are going to play for a bit, then me and Yig are going to play for a bit. Multiplayer, that is. And then uh, in the late evening, probably Neo. So you can, I can chop off this baby's limb and kill him by hitting his foot. So now I have a bomb. I'm gonna need that bomb, I feel like. I feel like I'm gonna need this bomb. So it's important that I have him. I think the baby saw me, even though I threw the door. Oh, look it. They, they're not awake anymore. 
So I kind of cheesed him out this way. Can I hit his foot from here? No. I think I alerted him. Got lucky there. Can I hit him in the face from here without hitting his body? Yes. Okay, so if you disarm them or delimb them, you can get their bodies and use those as weapons. Okay, so I got a little storage here of babies. A little baby storage. It's a Big Man like thing, yeah. We playing the multiplayer thing? Uh, yeah, it's tomorrow. Yeah, 20xx multiplayer. Yeah, it's really messed up if you kill mutant babies, but that's the effect of the Mark Contagion. I don't care. I like the babies in real life, dude. I'm fucking hardcore. The baby stepping into the fucking switchblade, dude. That baby's fucking dead. No forgiveness. If he was a fucking had a bomb on him, if a baby came with a fucking grenade, I shut that baby down. No hesitation. All right, so I need to. Uh, Block every vent. That's not a good spot. Okay, let's just put this out here, I guess. They could take you in a fight. Uh, not if I got the jump on him. Like, if I saw you had a grenade and he looked like he was gonna do some shit with it, if I snuck up on him, boom. Stomp him right in the back. Just stomp him. Blam! Dead baby. Oh, I think I might be dead. Well, I don't know what that is, but hey. Oh, it glitched out? <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. That'll do. And one there. That'll do. Baby storage, thank you, Zanzu. Bullshit, it could just be uh, you and your six best friends, you'd probably still lose that fight. What if I hired some guys, though? Okay, yeah, my best friends, obviously, right? They're not super ripped. What if I hired some guys, though? That child abuse. I'm too sleepy for this, guys. Let me be real with you. I don't, I'm not in any position to, like, react or anything. It's got a lot of ammo, I guess. I want to delimb some people. Can I take your claw? You don't have a claw. I want to fire more mines, to be honest. Can I do that? Like, I want to fire a lot of mines. But so they won't blow up. Like, I, don't, I don't want them to blow each other up, you know what I mean? I want them to all explode individually. Can I get one all the way over there? It's gonna be kind of a- it has like an arc on it, it might not work. That's alright, that'll do, I think. Just lost a mine, yeah. So I think those are all pretty well, uh, far apart enough that they won't blow each other up. How many more mines do I have? Three? Alright, I don't think I want to waste these three. I think I want to use these and try and make better use of my stasis. And stun. Can I pull some that power out of there? Probably not, huh? That's interesting. Alright, let's spawn. Let's, I'm not gonna. I think we're not gonna be able to beat this room tonight, to be honest. I'm not in the right state of mind. I'm just too, too exhausted. Here we go. That's what I want, right there. Come on. That'll probably do. Alright. Yo, Benka. What's up, Ben Breezy? I know you're playing Dead Space, but how is the theory of the rest of you? It's shitty. It's real shitty. David, the best babysitter, killing babies since 20 minutes ago. Hurry and finish this. You're overthinking things. Apples, if you're the one playing, you wouldn't say that. This is very difficult. I don't have ammo. There's too many enemies. They're very difficult. They're very... They're tough bastards. Should have used him more effectively. Damn.
fine. Oh shit, this guy's still fucking alive. Okay. I feel like I can serve some ammo there. I use some health, but I have a lot of health resources, right? Not a lot of ammo resources. I don't know, but I didn't get, get all my treasure yet either. Maybe they'll drop some ammo, huh? Probably missing the chat here. I'm sure the patch will come out soon, I hope so. He took two mines like a champ. Yeah, he didn't. He still kept coming too. What a dick. Lots of stasis packs. It's not difficult. You just need skill. Get good and not suck. Yeah, exactly. I totally agree. But I'm not really a shooting game player. This is my what my fourth ever shooting game. The other ones were the Evil Within one and two, and then Dead Space one. And yeah, if I were stronger, if I had a mouse and keyboard as well, it'd be a lot easier. Well, the guy of my skill level, this is pretty difficult. There's my mine. So what am I missing? Uh, I got full health. Uh, my stasis is kind of low. I got some... Uh, let's reload all my guns here. So I, get, I haven't found a whole lot of ammo. But that's alright. I have to go get the... I have to go collect all the shit that the enemies dropped. Got some more mines. That'll be helpful. That's fine, I don't think that does damage. Okay, okay so give me some shit. Give me some shit. Alright. What cartoons are you watching tomorrow? Not tomorrow, no, no cartoons tomorrow. That would be fun though, I'd be pretty laid back. I was really pleased how the last stream went. The viewership was okay. I had a problem with uh, YouTube. Like, Warner Brothers tried to flag me, but I challenged it and they, they let me put it up, so. I won the challenge. Let's see here. So it's, it went okay. We had good viewership. Pizza was delicious. We had a lot of fun watching the cartoons. Very laid back. I would do that again, but there's no plans immediately to do it again. I can't tell if I'm doing better than last time or not. How am I? I got a lot of mines. I think I'm doing a little bit better, but not by much. I should I should use more stasis in general. Oh, I have the babies still. I forgot about those things. Well, how can I use the babies effectively? I probably in combination with stasis, right? I combine it with stasis. Let's bring the babies in here. Oh no, my babies despawned. Poop. There's no use saving the game. You guys get your stuff back? Kind of like stomp you guys for more loot? Since the game like reboots when you die here? Or when you save the game? No. Good night, Zanzu. Have a good day, dude. Glad you could stop by. Good luck with your meetings. Don't die from boredom. Child neglect. Excellent parenthood. Exactly, Sheen. They're all fucking dead, dude. I have nightmares about that, you know. You guys know the Venkabot lore of my neglection nightmare? I'm not gonna go through it. I'm too tired to go through it, but it's, uh, it's a thing. Ask somebody. Somebody here knows it, I'm sure. Alright, so what's my plan for these guys? Line racks? It's pretty narrow. It's a good time to use these. Um, mine's gonna be effective. I got these gun bolts. Yeah, I've got plenty more ammo than last time. I'm doing much better. Uh, let's see here. This is a good room to stomp people, maybe? I should probably stasis somebody and then cut their legs off and then stomp them. I could do that with the line racks or with this thing, to be honest. I could even punch enemies in here, really. I don't have enough stasis to really punch them, though. Not really. Not effective. Well, how much health do I have? I have, like, a lot of health, right? Hell yeah, I've got a lot of health. I mean, I could sacrifice some of my health to save ammo by punching enemies.
Everybody knows Zanzu loves Zanzu. Save states for stronger enemies. Save states for stronger foes, huh? Interesting. Uh, she says, Mom, get off your fucking ass and unpack these damn boxes. Wow, my my Poke Mom is lazy. I don't think I get that reference. Look at all these stasis packs I have. But no ammo. Right, I can utilize that, you would think, somehow, right? I can I can sacrifice health for ammo by freezing guys and punching them. And then just taking the hits. I have all these stasis packs, I could use these as well. If worse comes to worse. Don't be reckless. Some enemies swipe, even in stasis. Yeah, but I mean, reckless is nothing, dude. Like, what do you mean reckless? Like, I need to save my ammo. I'm running very, very low. There's no, I don't know shops to respawn, to resupply, so I have to, I think I can sacrifice my health. I don't care if they swipe. I, that's what I mean by sacrifice my health. As in, like, I can hit them, they can hit me, then they'll die. I'll have ammo. I restore my health with my items. There's two enemies that spawn downstairs and one behind me. I could use a mine to save some ammo. Is that smart? Don't waste a health. What do you mean, Ben? What should I do, Ben? That's my point. I don't have any ammo. What do you mean, don't waste the health? I'm saying I could trade the health for ammo. What would you do if you had no ammo? Aside from trying to punch somebody. So we know a guy spawns up here. We could do some damage to him. Probably should. Good night, Karama. Have a good night, homie. I'd like you to stop by. Alright, so let's get this shit. Run, he says. Run away. I consider that, too. That's an option here. I could actually just run through these guys. Sell your guns. I wish I could. I don't have any shops nearby. I wouldn't need to sell my guns if I had shops. I've got plenty of money. So guys spawn down there. I could actually put a mine behind me, too. He had to. We could walk through both mines. It seems like a waste, though. It would make more sense to save the mines and use this gun, maybe, on that guy upstairs. Line gun, I think, for these guys down here. Wait, 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 wait! Templar told me I could use the shotgun to knock foes over, then stomp them. Hmm. There's two guys that spawn down there, one guy spawns up here. He's gonna drop through that thing and get blown up. But he's, I think he's a red man, so he's gonna have a lot of health. He's gonna be fine, more or less. Save line gun and use handgun ammo. I could just pulse them both. Because of the treasure apples, that's really the reason. And plus, they, they run faster than me most of the time. But yeah, I could probably tank some hits and run past them, but I really would like to kill them, get their treasure. Freeze time. I can just run up there and shotgun their asses. Eh. I'm going to try that. I'm going to run up there, freeze time, shotgun, and then if they're on their, hopefully knock them on their backs, and then stomp. Well, that's why I killed them both in one line rack, right? But I, I kind of, the line racks are pretty, pretty good, actually. This mine... That's not a good use of a mine, I don't think. Because this guy up here, he's a pretty straightforward enemy. Like, in the next room, there's lots of vents. I'd rather mine the vents in that room than this room. Because this room is a pretty easy room, really. And I gotta remember, if I take hits, it's no big deal. I have so much health. I have so many health packs. Like, I almost want to just take a hit. Ben says don't waste a health, though. But, like, I don't need to worry as much about my health. I need to worry more about ammo. I need to be very careful with my ammo. You'd want to save the line gun if you're cornered, since you have the spread. It's a good idea, Ben Bree. That's a really good tip. Take it, it's pretty fun. <laughs> Everybody's doing it. So the guy up here is going to run toward me. I have so much stasis. I can just freeze his ass and do whatever I want to do him. 
whatever I wanted to do to him. Chop his legs off. Right, I'm going to knock both these guys down. And stomp their asses, I guess. This guy up here, I mean, he's going to be running toward me as a thing. Last time I took that, I took killed those both in one hit with a line gun. It was real cool. One ammo killed both those enemies down there. That was Tessaiga. And this guy up here, he was still kind of coming down from that vent. But if I go slower this time, he's going to come up behind me. I'm going to feel like I should run back this way right away. And then kill this guy first. Somehow. Do the red guys get knocked down as easily as the other ones do? Kind of knock them down with a shotgun blast and stomp them? I don't know. Wish I had more line gun ammo. I was very effective in this room last time. I want to, like, slow down time for everybody. I want to, like, slow them down, then turn around and slow this guy down. And then fuck these guys up. Why don't we make that our plan? Here, let's just do it. There's two of them. Where's... Oh, I need to do that. Oh, they didn't even get knocked down. That worked out pretty well. I think. Oh, he's fine. Okay. That didn't work out as well as I hoped. I can slow him down though, and then just try and punch him. I'll be. I'll try the wrong button again. Okay. It's like I used up a lot of my stasis on accident. I think triangle. I used up one. Okay, that sucks. I can use my health back though. Just do it. So, so you can't knock the enemies down with the shotgun. I was misled. Not if they're strong enemies. I kind of hope I can just knock them on their backs and stomp them. Didn't really work that way, though. I might as well just... I wasted a shot by doing that. I could have just cooked them with the... Um, with the rifle function of the... of this gun. All right, so now I've got mines. That's about it. And that's a problem. That is a problem. I have to mine... The Street Fighter combos, yeah. I have to mine every vent. Like, I want them to run through all my mines to get to me. I want to get out of this room. I want to spawn them in this room and then run, but they, they do a pretty good job of keeping me from doing that. Although I've got all this health I could spend, right? I don't... I need to burn my health to get back into this room. Close that door behind me, and then they have to come from basically one side. If I could fight them in here, this would be ideal. The only problem being that they have both of these vents to drop down. Which sucks. But even then, I, at least I know... I'm, I got a nice little narrow hallway here. The line gun, the rifle, and the line gun both work really well here. I wish I could fight them in here. I have to get past. I have to spawn them and then get past them. Then they might climb in the vents and come in here. Maybe. Or they might just go back to their spawn points. So how many of these mines do I have anyway? I've got five total. Why are they dropping all those ammo types I don't need? Didn't this one have a chainsaw? It does, yeah. But I never raised it, rose it up, the Ripper Blades. I never bought it. Okay. So I got five mines. I can place some mines around here. I want the enemies to run through the mines to get to me. I have to go pretty far into the room to make them spawn, I feel like. I got a pretty good lay of the land here. So I need to place a bunch of mines. So where do they all come from? I see a vent there. 
And I see a vent there. I don't think I, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know how many there are either. They seem like there was at least three or four last time that fucked me up. Okay, I see a, a power node down there. I'm sure what that's all about. Probably can't grab it from here. I just heard a baby. Hmm. Alright, so I can put a mine over there by that vent. I mean, is there a vent over there at all? Let me mine that vent first of all, just to do damage to somebody. Right quick. Okay, that'll do. I think there's a mine over there. I can booby trap that area, no problem. Excuse me, a vent, not a mine. And over there, I feel like there should be more over way down there. I don't know. Is that just ambient noise, do you think? I hear somebody making noises. Sorry guys, I'm really sleepy. I know it's really boring to watch me do this. I'm really just stalling because I'm tired. I do want to get through this though. I'm trying to play tactically. I'm not good at shooting games at all, so I can't rely on my, you know, my reflexes or anything to succeed. I have to rely on planning. Alright, so let's see here. So, uh, I could make another trap right there. I, I think I want to. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So what if I were to uh, place a mine right here, like right there? Huh. So if I walked over here to my right, would the enemies all spawn? I think I walked over that way last time and they spawned. There's a vent. I could put a mine right there. Like right there. <gasps> Fuck! Okay, let's not do that. There we go. So if I were to walk. Yeah, so I don't I want to I wish I could disable that mine. I should actually uh, do like this. Like boom. And then boom. Get these mines back. Okay. Reload this gun. They spawn no matter what you do. Um, you have to get them. Well, you have to get well into the room. I'm not sure how well though. That's a thing. I wanna place the mines in shit. It's crazy how the beams fucking interrupt. It sucks. The beams crossed. All right, so uh, gotta place the beam a little bit higher, I guess, huh? Let's that way it won't cross any other beams. So I want to put a beam, like, right there. And hope that I can spawn them by walking in this deep. And then just run, I guess. I can't run. So I should have killed him when I had a chance. Okay, so. There's those guys.
Okay. Okay. Got the force gun ammo. Plasma, let's reload that gun. There's some more ammo over there that I'm missing. Right? Or maybe not. No. Okay, is that credits? Yeah. All right, here's some more force energy. Nice. Got some uh, another mine as well. Reload all my guns. There's another treasure over there. Let's go get that real quick. So I pretty much I pretty much uh, stomped everybody here, right? Everybody stomped. Yeah, I got all my treasure here. Got this rifle here. I hear babies, but I think it's just a sound effect. Credits, fuck! I need a fucking shop! Alright. Doing okay for ammo. I mean, not really, but. Much better than last time. Okay. Good shot. Took both his legs off. Killed him pretty quick. Credits. Great. Okay. Don't you use... Don't you have a map of the stage? I don't think so. I have this thing that tells me, you know, where my objective is. There's treasure down there. Damn, these stasis packs. They're giving me everything I don't need, right? They're giving me health and credits and stasis. All I want is fucking ammo. I don't think it was a map. In one of the crystal layer printing baths. I had entered the entire heuristic sequencing algorithm. I can still hear it in my mind, like a song now. I know the dementia suppressors are working, but this is something entirely different. If I go here, Ben, I don't think it's a map. Mission. Database. I don't think it was a map. You're going to need it for what's coming up. Sheen says, uh, you mean the map? I don't, think, I don't think I have a map, guys. You have to think of a different game. I'm almost serious to think of a different game. Oh, the stasis, okay. Okay, so everybody here is dead. So that's handy. I wish I, uh... could save my game. There's treasure in here. Goody. Line racks, nice. Just what the doctor ordered. Line racks, nice. All right. It's a dead end over there, but there's probably a vent up above me. Well, lots of treasure, I like that. Lots of gore, there's the vent. I have so much health. I need to really be prepared to sacrifice my health to conserve ammo. Right? Don't blind fire. Do not blind fire. Do not panic fire. 
Just fucking take it slow, take a hit. It's whatever. Slow you I've got plenty of stasis, like uh like uh Sheen said. Plenty of stasis. Slow shit down. Okay, so in this area, the line racks be very effective because it's very narrow. So if I can freeze time, get everybody on one side of me, I can just cut through all of them. That's a great way to save ammo. Alright. I just have to have slow down time enough that I can get them all on one side of me. Is here a sound just now? That's why I heard a monster doing the monster mash. Oh, I think it might have been Isaac. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. This first uh, primary shot's really good. It goes through things. That's pretty good damage. Chops off limbs real easy on this gun as well. So I've got line racks. I've got uh, shotgun. Got a few mines. I don't have a whole lot of these, uh, the regular ammo, though. Once again, they're gonna have guys spawning probably behind me and in front of me. I have plenty of stasis. Keep that in mind. Just freeze time. When the going gets tough, freeze time. Okay, I'm gonna go save my game again in the hopes that it'll save this time. Maybe I hit a checkpoint by going into this room. Who knows? I really don't want to have to do this all again, guys. I know. Maybe because I got farther this time, maybe it'll save my game correctly. It's just a, a foolish hope, I'm sure, but... Oh, shit! Uh, did you smother all the babies yet? Well, they, they died, Apple. They've despawned. They didn't punish me for cheating again. They're like, yo, fuck these babies trying to save up, dude. They're getting despawned, son. Too many monsters in memory. I was like, but those are my babies, dude! That was my ammo! They're like, fuck you, Venkabot. And I was like... Yo, they programmed to say, fuck you, Venkabot? Holy shit. What a bunch of assholes. For whatever we do, do not save over our first file. Because that is... So... Oh, wait, can I grab one of these shields and use it to, to fend them off? Let's make a new file. Fuck it. Alright. My hope is that, again, I want to have it saved so that the enemies don't respawn. But who knows. About half an hour left here, guys. I really want to find a shop. You seem uh, better. I bet you're looking forward to crashing. I'm definitely looking forward to crashing, for sure. I only seem better because I've had a pretty good luck on this run. So stress levels are relatively low. Things have been working out pretty well for me. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. Before I go up there, let me... Uh, let me go up here and pull this plug. What happens if I pull the plug from up here? Because, see, I have the... I think I can do that from up here. Oh, look, there's treasure down there that I missed. Holy shit. Ah, stasis packs. Fuck. I can use these stasis packs to, like, you know, buy me an escape, basically, if I have to. I thought I looked pretty well for the treasure, too, but I guess I missed some after all. Any treasure back in this corner? No. Okay, so I want to pull this plug and see what happens if I do it from up here. Can I? Maybe I can't. No, I can't. Okay, I think it's intentionally so I can't do that. Oh, it's not a plug. It's uh, one of those consoles. Okay, okay. This might be a rage quit here, guys. I can already tell what they're going to do. They're going to swamp that room with enemies while I try and get to this fucking console. They're going to say, You can't kill them all, Isaac! You better run! I'm going to die. And then I'm going to have to restart the whole map again. It's going to be very, very salty. I'm going to take to rage quit for tonight, guys, and come back on Monday and play this game again. So there's vents on the floor. There's vents above me. Plenty of vents above me. This room seems peaceful. I might just run toward the console. What else can I do? Are these floor vents? Can I make the door close?
So I have to fix the door there. It's the Juggernaut, bitch. Okay, so she with the mild spoilers, so this is gonna be a boss fight. I have to open the door, maybe it's when it comes rushing in. Maybe it's one of these recycled foes from before, huh? Okay. So... I want to activate that. I can, maybe if I... I don't know. I can't really do anything but just hope for the best. So what do I got resource-wise? I got plenty of health. I need to use one of the small ones, right? Yeah. Okay. I got some mines that can help me out at all. I'm just really low on ammo in general. I'm not sure I have the ammo to make this work. Like, I don't think it's possible. These guys have a lot of health. I can sh if I target his limbs very carefully, I might be able to make it work. I have to freeze him, like uh, Sheen said. Freeze him, and then definitely shoot his limbs very carefully with what little ammo I have. If it's who I think it is. That recycled, uh, recycled foe that I've used a few times, this big giant mini-boss kind of guy. Say some again. Okay. Okay. So I think that's pretty effective. I kind of wish I hadn't wasted all my shotgun ammo. Not sure if I could have done much better there or not. Hopefully I don't spawn another one. I'm really out of ammo now. I, thought, I think maybe the shotgun doesn't have good uh, cutting abilities. Maybe it made more sense to just use my line gun only. Hmm. Okay. Well... Yeah, let's just do this thing, I guess. So what's my what's my uh, ammo looking like right now? All I have is what I have loaded in the guns, except for the mines. So three shots, no shots, four shots, and four shots. That's not enough for anything. I mean, the line gun, I can kill uh, maybe three more foes with really good, careful shots with that gun. I smell a rage quit coming here, guys. Okay, that door's unlocked now. I think that light thing on the floor is a bomb. It is, yes. That'll, that'll, uh, it doesn't do damage, though. It does stasis. Yeah, it doesn't help me. It doesn't do actual damage. It just does stasis damage. It makes them slow down. I'm gonna go save. Oh, I can't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, then. That's actually a good sign. Maybe it means it checkpointed on me, finally. Alright. Yeah, good night to apples. Sweet dreams. Look at that winner over there. They just for show, do you think? Hmm. Don't scare me, guys, please. I'm too tired to take it. I'm not even sure you could at this point. I'm so tired. I don't feel like I could be effectively scared. Like, jump scared. You're welcome to try, I guess. It promised me a fucking shop, right? Jesus. Man, I'm low. I mean, I've got so much stasis. I have to utilize my stasis and my health. This is like a safe room. Like an actual safe room. Bench. Is that store over here? Oh my god, guys, I gotta... Should I call it a night here, though? We've gotta be close to beating the game, right? 
I have another half an hour left of, you know, until we're at the eight hour mark anyway. But I'm so tired, I want to just kind of quit. <laughs> Whatever, Venka. Have a good night, Apples. Dear Phelps, research log 43553. I'm convinced we are puppets of some alien influence. I no longer believe we are in control of this project or ever were. I believe even our rationalizations for this whole thing are an illusion, planted by the forces behind the original marker, the, 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 the black one. We don't know how to make this thing. It is making us make it. And it's trying to get out, desperately. I'm under security watch after taking a sledgehammer to the tiny marker I built last week. We need to destroy everything we build here, and destroy every record, every shred of research. They were right the first time on Aegis 7. This is beyond our ability to know or control. I have to go. My supervisor is whispering to the security guard. It's kind of a cool plot, right? It's kind of interesting. I'm gonna save my game and then buy some sweet, sweet fucking ammo. Yeah, before I do that, let's read this text clock. Private communication from Overseer. A uh, Tideman, disappointed in the evacuation decision. Consequences will be dire. That is all. Hmm. Spooky. Let's save our game. And then buy fucking ammo. Oh my god. So much ammo. I'm gonna save over this file. There's an elevator. We got the bench. What we got here. So I can sell. I don't think I need to sell stuff though. Maybe I should hold on to my stasis things. I can sell these fucking conductors though. Okay. I sell all the ammo I don't want the javelin spears, pulse rounds, flame fuel. Seekers, Rippers. Okay, sell all my guns finally. I can pull out my health packs. I'm pretty close to the final fight, I feel like. I think we're at the end, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's see here. So, I have so much money. I could buy a gun, obviously, but I'm not going to do that, of course. I don't think I'm going to buy any nodes, either. I really need ammo. I'm pretty happy with... Let's go look at our, uh... Let's go look at our bench real quick. I think I'd rather just spend all my money on ammo, because I'm so... It was so stressful just now. I don't ever want to be in this situation again. Since the 15 is the final chapter. Okay, so uh, we're not going to beat the game tonight in any case in that case. We're, like, we're on, like, 13, right? Or are we on 14 now? Force gun. Yeah, I don't think I want to raise the capacity in this thing anymore. Line gun's been doing work. We could make we can make the mine be effective now, finally. That could be useful. Like I could put the, some more alt fire, make the timer shorter, and then raise the damage of it, you know, quite a bit. Uh, no, no, I really couldn't though, could I? No, I could raise this, and I could raise the alt fire damage once. I could buy more nodes, though, if I really wanted to, but I don't. I think I'm satisfied with my gear as it is right now. Let's not worry about the bench too much right now. I really just want a shit ton of ammo. So what do we got here? I need a lot of everything, so... Let's just buy, um, let me see here. I would normally buy eight of these, right? That's my normal amount that I like to have, so... One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And these I like to have uh, like twelve of these, so I like to buy like uh, uh, let's just buy like eight. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The mines. Um, I don't think I really need those as much. I probably need a few though. Let's buy uh, four of these. One, two, three, four. And then, of course, the force energy. I need a lot of this stuff. So I need, like, um, ten of these. Okay. Let's see what the, we look like now, basically. Let's see what we got here. Let's see how I feel about this. Let's reload all my guns, first of all. So now let's see what we've got. 
No, I need more. I need more of everything. I need to buy, uh, let's say, three more of those, three more of those, and, uh, you know, three more of those. I think the mines are good, though. Okay. Now what do we got? This is what I normally feel comfortable with, right? This is my normal amount of ammo I like to have. But... Shit's getting real. Maybe I want to have more now. I can't really hold much more. Especially if I put these uh, big health packs on me like I want to do. Hmm. It's a lot of ammo. I could buy one more stack of everything. But if I find more treasure, I might be able to carry it, is the issue. Kind of, I don't like stasis packs, but as I'm, you know, they really came in clutch in that last encounter. I don't really care for stasis packs, though, in general. I like to sell them. If I sold them, I could buy maybe even some nodes. Let's see here. But they came in so clutch. Like, I feel like if I sold these four, I'd have three, which is a pretty good amount to have. Or if I sold this one stack, and I'd have four spare ones. I think I'm going to do that. Alright. I've got plenty of mines. Don't need any more mines than that, I don't think. So now, if I, uh... I could buy two nodes, and then I still have plenty of money left over for ammo. I don't need more health, I don't need to buy any of this. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna buy two nodes. Boom. Boom. Now I can spend the rest on ammo. So I really like line racks and the rifle. I feel, I'm starting to feel like, you know, I started the game in love with the plasma cutter, right? But I think that now it's really more like a sidearm. Right, it's more like a, you know, it's good for, it's, it's situational, right, situational, compared to the line gun and the rifle, the line gun and the shotgun, which are both really, really effective. The force energy ammo is pretty affordable, right? It's a little more expensive than the plasma cutter is, actually. But I think it's it's not I think it's twice as good you know in combat. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna focus on this mostly. The line gun is good. I'll buy uh, one more of line and then blow the rest of the money on these. So let's buy one more of the line and then buy a bunch of these. Like. So what do we got now? Three stacks, three stacks. I'm gonna buy a couple more of these actually. I can't afford these anymore. Okay. All right. I'm, I feel pretty happy how we spent our money there. I got tons of fucking ammo, tons of health on me. I've got tons of stasis. I'm feeling pretty young and strong. But I know it's disappointing. I think I'm going to call it a night here, guys. I'm really exhausted. I stayed up all night last night doing stuff behind the scenes for the stream. I'm not uh, at my strongest. I think I'm going to call it a night here. So how's my inventory looking in terms of space? Should I put these uh, large health packs in my inventory now or what? Also, what chapter am I on? I've heard a rumor that 15 is the last chapter. I have kind of limited space because I have so much ammo. If I put on those health packs, it might be overkill. Which, which chapter are we on here? Right. 
save station. What chapter are we on? We're still on 13, yeah, so we're still far from the end of the game. Okay, so I was very wrong. We'll beat the game next week, I guess, right? We have three more streams next week. So we might even have, you know, two more streams left. I guess I'll be smarter next time and not put on the description, beating the game tonight. I thought for sure we were closer. All right, so I could raise the line gun's alt fire. That could be pretty helpful. I mean... It's reload speed, it could also be... Nah, but the alt fire and the duration. I could raise that up. I don't see myself using this. I mean, the duration, if I shortened it, could be very helpful, I guess. It can get very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. Maybe I should raise it. One, two, three, four, five. I still don't have enough nodes, though, to raise it effectively. The alt damage. I'm gonna do this, though. Yeah, so it's gonna cost me all three nodes to get. Oh, thank you, Shane. Yeah, 15 is the final chapter. I don't want to spend all my nodes because there's a node door ahead. That's the thing. I don't want to spend my, you know, I don't want to spend these on blank nodes either. But yeah, I do want to raise the alt damage. That's going to be pretty important, I think, going forward. Okay, so I'm going to call it a night here, I guess, guys. Guys, as usual, if you enjoy hanging out, you want to keep the channel online, check my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Venkabout. Even a buck is a huge help. It makes the stream more sustainable in the long term. Put the taco on my belly. It's very helpful. I feel like me, you're totally broke, right? Maybe you're working minimum wage. Maybe you have a full-time job. But you need that money for more important things to helping a streamer. Totally understand no hard feelings. Help are free in that case. Get in the chat, come say hi, follow on Twitch, tell your friends we're here. All great ways to help out. It makes the channel a lot more fun when you guys get in the chat. Especially late at night when it's really kind of... gets pretty quiet here. I'm exhausted, guys. So if not for the fact that I had no sleep last night, I got like, what, like a little more than four hours of sleep last night. I'd be playing for another, you know, probably another 45 minutes or so. But I can't. I really can't. Not with this level of stress in this game. So I'll come back tomorrow. We're going to do some programming and then some 20XX and then some uh, Neo in this time slot here. Then on Monday, come back to Dead Space. And maybe even uh, maybe even on Wednesday as well, depending on how things go. But, um, yeah, check out my YouTube channel, guys. It's at youtube.com slash thinkaboutarchive. One word, youtube.com slash thinkaboutarchive. All of my past streams archived there in 1080p, 60 frames. Looks better than Twitch, actually. We have all kinds of cool long plays there, like Dead Space 1, its entirety is there, as well as uh, The Evil Within 1 and 2 is on there now. Not all the way, so every week we get more Evil Than 2 right now. Evil Than 1 is entirely there now. It's organized by game in playlists for you guys. Very painstaking uh, work goes into that to make it nice and tidy that we can easily watch a game you want to watch from start to finish. Even though on the actual stream we play like you know, multiple games per day, we sometimes put a few days in between games. But on YouTube, man, it's all very neatly organized, so you can just watch like a long play. We have retros like Sonic the Hedgehog, Commander Keen, Metal Gear Solid, Super Metroid, Destiny Dreams, and plenty more retros, as well as uh, you know, AAA games like The Evil Within, The Last of Us. We have uh, the Dark Souls franchise. We've got online stuff like Fortnite Battle Royale, Maple Story, Dungeons and Dragons, GTA Online. We have uh, indie stuff like Dropsy, Toki Tori, 20XX, and Omega Strike. I'm gonna come back uh, next week with some more Dead Space guys. Sheen says, "See ya, man. I gotta sleep. Gotta work at 5:30 to 10:30 p.m. tomorrow." Whoa, that's really uh. Oh, you're hoping you mean 5:30 in the p.m. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, I got you, Sheen. Have a good night, man. Have a good night, Dick Zucker. Good night, all you guys out there. I am going to hit the uh, hit the sack here. I don't think I'm going to have any energy doing the YouTube work or anything. It's been a very weird day for me. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night, Coolan. Glad you could hang out, bro. My only regret is I didn't have the energy to carry on for a full eight hours. So usually, we, we've only done a few streams ever. They didn't go full eight hours. Thank you for hanging out, Dicks. Again, I apologize, guys. I was up all night last night dicking around with this new internet situation I've got. Had to deal with the Comcast guy. So last night, you know, I ended the stream at around 3 in the morning. Then I spent all night working on YouTube and just behind-the-scenes stuff. And then uh, around 8 a.m., the Comcast guy shows up. I had to show him around and deal with him. Help him get the internet set up. Then I had to fix the internet here, get, you know, all the computers get online and stuff. I finally passed out around, you know, uh, noon. Woke up around 4, 4.30. Mom, oh, mom, I'm thinking about life so hard, huh? Spaghetti. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, go and get the Steve. Holy shit, that was a lot of spaghetti. I didn't need 
that much spaghetti. Jump scares are real. Oh my fucking god. How the hell did he get me like that? You!